Welcome back to the Webby and O'Neill channel. Thanks for joining us for today's video. If you've been around social media or YouTube today, you've seen a lot of reports linked to Karim Benzema, multiple clubs, including Manchester United. We want to just get your thoughts on it. Do you think it's fake news? Would you like to see Benzema at Old Trafford this season? Get your thoughts in the comments below, Reds, and don't forget to smash that like button, please. First of all, your thoughts on Benzema. I've no arguments about Benzema. If he's available and he wants to come, then get him. It's what we need. We need a striker. We've only got Ireland. Uh, and that's not good enough, just having that. We all know, and we've known for a long time, we need strikers. United's policy just hasn't gone through with it, and we've ended up in this situation. The same situation again in a January where we're desperate for a striker. But, like I say, Benzema's there, then I'm all for it. Yeah, do you think he'd be able to get us at least 10 or 15 goals in, in the actual Premier League, though, this season, if he was to come? Because we desperately do need goals. I know Rashford, Hoyland have been on the score sheet recently. Let's hope that form can continue. But we definitely need a backup striker and someone different as well. Do you think Benzema would give us something different than what Hoyland does? Yeah, Benzema would definitely give you something different. He's got the class. We know that. He's, he's world class. Getting you the 10 goals, I'm not really sure. But it, it'd help along... <sighs> He'd give Ireland a rest. He does need a rest. Uh, and to me, getting him in is the right thing. Mm. He will get you goals. Will he get you 10? I don't know. Yeah, you say he's world-class. I totally agree throughout his career. He's definitely been world-class. He definitely shown it for me when Ronaldo left Real Madrid and he stepped up them levels oh, to yeah. take the team forward. But he's played in the Saudi Pro League, I think 15 games, scored nine goals. I love what he's about him getting on the score sheet because we, we know Hoyland himself hasn't been supplied proper Mm. That's the problem we've got. Would Benzema be supplied? But when you look at Benzema and the way he plays, he just waits. He just waits for that one chance and he gets in the right position. But for me, I think these reports, like we discussed off video before, I think they're starting to get a little bit more traction due to the yeah. injury news on Anthony Martial. He's going to be out for 10 weeks after that groin surgery. So is that just the case? A bit of fake news, people just trying to click up? No, I, I, I think there's an opportunity there to get him. I think... Uh, there's a couple of clubs tapping him up. Uh, so the inquiry's out there, the conversation's going on. And like I say, if he's available, get him. Anthony Marcel's out. Uh, he's had an operation on his groin. I didn't expect Anthony Marcel to get a game uh, for the rest of the season anyway. Uh, his attitude stinks as far as I'm concerned. Went on about him last, last week. Made me my position very clear on Anthony Marcel. I think he's just walking to the end of his contract uh, and then get somewhere to sign and take the money. He's just picking up his wages. Uh, very timely operation for him. Uh, that's how I look at it. We are short. Benzema fits the bill. We've not found a striker, and we've known for a few weeks since the transfer window opened uh, at the beginning of January, and we've not been able to bring one in because there's not a suitable striker out there. Mm. You know, needs must. Uh, and I'm not saying he'll have the best of times here, Benzema, uh, but he's got the class and he, he should uh, help whoever's out there uh, perform. For me, Benzema, I'm going to have to say a big no on this, to be honest with you. He's been a great player in his career. Someone who, who I always wanted from when he was at Lyon all them years ago coming to Manchester United. But he obviously made the right move and the right decision to go Real Madrid. His medal teller tells you that. But for me, I think we need to change the direction now at Manchester United. I think Ineos... And the people in at the club now will want to see the same thing as well going forward. And I don't think we'll be making these short-term deals for players of that age anymore. And plus, you've got to also think of the wages. Manchester United, I still think, need to clear a lot of players off the wage bill to create funds going forward into the summertime to bring some quality and some youth in as well. People with big potential. So I think Benzema... I don't. I can't see this happening to me, to be honest with you. I take a few of your points. It's not. It's not what I want. I thought United would go in a different direction. That's what we was all open. But the thing is, needs must. And if you look at Benzema, his uh, his play, his link up play, that's the side of his football. And I think he's still got that where he comes out of the area, gets the ball, links up with his uh, midfield, links up with his wingers, uh, and then gets into the danger zone. So I think. That experience would help United. Uh, and United, they're not in uh, Europe. They've got uh, Premier League games. They're in the FA Cup. Mm. And I think it'd suit uh, United. And I think it'd suit Benzema. And like I say, his link-up play, mm. I think, is exceptional. So that side of it, I think, uh, getting me. But hey, yeah, no. you know, we'll see what happens. We've seen it all before. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And I can't really... 
go against what you say there about you wanting to bring him in. You know, it's whatever side of the fence you sit on, you know, and see how Manchester United want to develop going forward. But, you know, for me, if I'm Ineos and the guys in the background, I'm looking at Ten Hag and his coaching staff and I'm saying to him, you know, you've got more than enough talent there in the forward areas. Go and start getting them on the training pitch. Let's start getting them back to what the, we thought we could they could be or the levels that we have seen them on, especially last season. And at the end of the day, you're a manager. That's what you paid for to get the best out of the players in the club. And there's more than enough goals, in my opinion, in the players that he's currently got in this squad going forward. And it's up to the manager to start getting the best out of these players and getting them to stick the ball in the back of the net. We've mentioned a few times now on videos, you know, style of play. How many times have we seen that in the comments? There's no style of play. We'll start getting a style of play together to edit and then let's start getting this team working together and scoring goals up top. We have got some players coming back from injury, which will help, you know, the likes of Casemiro, Martinez, Luke Shaw, Mason Mount, who, I feel like when he does make his return from, to Manchester United, it'll be like a new signing to me because we've hardly seen anything of Mason Mount all season. So hopefully that, you know, people like that will give us a big push, a big boost in some of the games going forward. And yeah, for me, I've, I've just got to leave Benzema out on this one, just purely because of his age, his salary. I just don't think it's a player and a profile uh, we should be looking for, to be honest. I don't think Ineos are looking for that uh, age group and the profile. Mm. Uh, I think they will move it forward once they've uh, embedded themselves into the club. But as I said earlier on in the video, needs must. And I think people out there will sort of, sort of say, mm. well, look, he comes in, he's going to inspire and help those uh, other players who yeah. haven't, and to, and it, it's there on the table, they haven't been performing the likes of your Rashford, your Anthony. So it might help them with his style of play. That's all yeah. I can say. I'm not saying it's what I want, because I want the change of style, but it's needs must, and Benzema fits the bill. That's all, that's all I'm saying. He fits the bill for now. Mm. Long term, we want to get away from this, yeah. and I hope that Ineos do get away from it, They've walked into something uh, and they're going to have to deal with it. And this, to me, is the only way. We need a striker. Yeah, no, I, I do get what you mean. And I, my thoughts probably would have changed in the summertime or before he, he moved to the Saudi because you've always got to ask yourself what are the players' motivations to move over oh, yeah. there anyway. So it's purely financial. So when you're talking about inspiration and stuff like that, what's in Benzema's head is himself to come to the Premier League, to Manchester United or any other teams is is he going to give the inspiration there? I'm not too sure what his motivation is because he's already been in the Saudi league. So I think I, when, I'm, I'm I just think, not sure. I think, I think when you you find somebody uh, in the January transfer on a short term uh, contract, I think you have to like look at the character. You have to look at the person. I think he'd just come here at United and think, yeah, mm. this is a nice fit for me. I've got the uh, the Manchester United everything behind me, the glory the glory club as as he'd see it and say, right, I'm fine for a few months here. But, you know, it's a difficult one. Mm. Awkward. Some yes, some no. And there's, there's reasons. Is it just money? But I do think it'd be a fit. But, hey, you know, that's that. Yeah, unless he speaks to Cristiano Ronaldo. We know what Ronaldo said about the football club. So if them and two have had a chat, I highly doubt Benzema wanting to come to Manchester United. Unless he then speaks to Casemiro and Varane. Hopefully they'd have different opinions on Manchester United and the actual club going forward and the feel are all around the players, the changing room. Well, we'll see them at Chelsea then, won't we? Probably. You know, they do need a striker and you won't put it against Bowley to go out and spend 100 million on Karim Benzema. Maybe yeah. throw a Mercedes car or a Rolls Royce in too to get him to yeah. Stamford Bridge. But wow. no, let's wait and see on Benzema. But I just wanted to get your thoughts as well before we finished. Uh, there was a piece in The Athletic from Laurie Whitwell and at the bottom of the um, article, he does talk about uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Once Premier League ratification arrives, with early February earmarked, Ineos representatives are expected to speak publicly, including on the future of manager Eric Ten Hag. If anything can be taken from the opening month of their reign, it is that communication will be as frequent and trans transparent as possible. What's your thoughts on that? Do you think they'll actually make anything public or a stance publicly on the manager and the backing? I, th I think they will early February. Uh, they've got a, a board meeting on the 5th of February, and I'm sure they'll come out and say something. Whether it'll be about the manager, I'm not sure. But they, they have to come out straight away, in my opinion, 
And that board meeting on the 5th of February is ideal to come out. We play West Ham on the Sunday. So on the Monday, they'll meet, they'll ratify whatever they're doing uh, and then come out and uh, give some statement. And there'll be plenty of statements, I think. But the main one has to be on the manager going forward. Uh, they have declared, Eric Te well, Eric Ten Hag has declared that he got on well with him, worked well, uh, and he's looking forward to the future. And I think going forward, especially till the end of the season, I think Jim Ratcliffe has to come out uh, and make the position clear for everybody. Then we all know. Some might say, well, it's the, uh, you know, how many times have we heard owners come out and back the manager a few weeks later, he's gone. Yeah, but the thing is, we all know, right, that Ten Hag could be in the sights of, of the new people in charge of the football side of it. And at the end of the day, let's make it clear. Let's, mm. let's not hide behind a, a screen. Don't, don't try and kid everybody mm. that, oh, yeah, I'm working well with Eric Ten Hag. We want him here. We're going to work with him uh, and then get rid of, rid of him in the summer. Just make it clear. Mm. You know, that's what you want. Yes, it might not be the right thing. Listen, they, they come out, make a statement. We're changing the manager in the summer. What's wrong with that? N nothing wrong. We, we can see what Ineos are doing. This is their plan and you have to go along with it. Mm. Is it the right decision? Everyone's got their own opinion on that. Mm. But the thing is, they have to come out and, and be clear what they say, uh, what they're going to be doing in the future, and the manager's future is up for question mm. with everybody. Because at the end of the day, when this change and big change like this, managers tend to get the push. Mm. So make it clear. And the fifth of February, I believe, after that uh, board meeting, they'll come out uh, and go on about Eric Ten Hag. That'll be the first thing. Yeah, no, I, I do agree. And there has been some communication like we've seen over recent weeks with supporter groups, et cetera, from Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos. And we just want them to be transparent, more communication. We've been starved with it over the years under the Glazer ownership. Yeah. And we, we don't expect the Glazers to come out anytime soon and, and give their opinions on anything because they're just in the background now with Sir Jim Ratcliffe leading the fight with the football strategy. But, you know, it is positive signs for me from Ineos you know, the communication there. And let's just hope they give some more transparency, transparency, sorry. And, you know, whatever they do say, if they do come out uh, when it's ratified by the Premier League, you know, I'm, I think they'd be wary of going overboard just in case they have got to go back on a decision sooner or later. The Premier League, they'll know there's a board meeting. And I think you never know. Both announcements, uh, a statement from uh, Ineos on the 5th after the board meeting and the Premier League. So the 5th of February, to me, uh, on the Monday, looks as though it could be done from both of them. United board meeting, come out with a statement and the Premier League then ratify it and confirm it. So uh, yeah. it, it's a day to look forward to, to be honest. Well, I'd just like to thank everyone for joining us today. Um, much appreciated as always. Just thought I'd give you a little bit of a chat, a brief overview on some of the news, a bit of the rumours going on out there. Obviously with Karen Benzema, we've seen quite a lot of it today. So just thought we'd get your thoughts on it. Is it fake news? Would you like to see Benzema here at Old Trafford? We've given our brief overview on it, so you get involved in the comments below. And also on Ineos, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, do you expect more transparency going forward with communication with the fans and especially on Eric Ten Hag's future at Manchester United? As ever, smash that like button, Reds, and we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you.